hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i am just going to be showing you how i made this um jumbo size braided wig for a customer on a human hair full lace wig so if you are looking to shop for a for a braided wig that is affordable and looks beautiful then you want to shop with us everything about um our um info is going to be down on the info section our website our instagram handle and stuff like that currently we do not um accept um custom orders all the wigs on the website are ready to ship um which means you can just order it as it is there's no modification or anything so don't forget to click on the look on the info section to get all the details and to shop for our braided wigs so like i said this wig was made for a customer on a human hair um full lace um she requested this um so this is um the full lace that i am going to be using as you can see it's an all lace full lace wig which means the middle does not contain that fabric where it stretches so this is just all lace and it's a medium cap this is the braiding hair that i'm using i ordered this off of sam's beauty it was two dollar a pack it was on sale and it was definitely worth it okay so this is the full lace it's been bleached i just went in to um pre-part the wig it's usually easier for me this way that way i know what i'm doing i'm not going blind um yeah so you want to do this it's going to be easier for you if you don't want to do it it is up to you so um you can get your full lace wig just go online you know these days <laughs> there's everything online um full lace is everywhere these days go on amazon go on aliexpress go on alibaba go on instagram a whole bunch of them they're there okay so you can just um you know go online and search for it and you're gonna get it okay it's a human hair um full lace so yeah i'm just going in to cut the braiding hair and then once i'm done with that i'm just gonna go in with my blue magic um um hair cream to just apply on the braiding hair because i don't want it to be too um strong like it's just gonna be a little bit easy for me to brush out and then once i'm done i'm just going to brush it out first to avoid tangling um for me to um, um stretch um the hair so because this is not a pre-stretched hair a lot of people prefer the pre-stretched these days it saves you a lot of time and money it saves you a lot of time when you get that but it's definitely more expensive okay so like i said i got this off of sam's beauty for two dollar a pack listen it, it was totally worth it i love the braiding hair it was a great deal for me okay so i don't know if they still have it right now but you could just check to see but it's a good braiding hair so once i'm done with that i am just going to go in to pre-stretch um the braiding hair to prep it for me to start braiding with so once i'm done pre-stretching it i'm just gonna go in and just brush through it and make it smooth mind you this is a whole bunch of work trust me it is a whole lot of work that's why a lot of people just prefer to go for the pre-stretched um they don't have to deal with all this bs okay but yeah if you want to save money yeah you can just get this okay so yes So now that I am done with it, I am just going to go in and start braiding. So I did go in to braid the hair. This is what it looks like so far. Um, I've braided it as you can see. Um, yeah. So this is pretty much what the wig is looking like right now. As you can see, it's very neat. It's nice and beautiful. Like I said, this is on a human hair wig. Um full lace wig so it's not so easy when you're braiding with a um 
human hair full lace okay if you braid if you make braided wigs a lot you're gonna know especially when you're doing a jumbo sized wig it is not easy at all when you're working with human hair because the texture is so silky so to have it really nice and tight it's like a struggle so the first thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in to tweeze the um front hairline of the wig um, when i make my braided wig i try not to over pluck the front section that way is where it's gonna start looking kind of bald or overly thinned out this is just my preference of making my braided wig if you're that kind that like your braided wig overly plucked then you're definitely not my market audience you, you know you're not my market audience at all you can just check to see if there are other braiders who do that so yeah um normally as a wig maker or as a braided wig maker we usually have like a target audience um when we make our wigs in a certain way those are the kind of audience we want to target people that like that kind of wig um yes yeah, so some 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 um customers may like wigs that are really thin spaced out that have you know few hair it doesn't matter if you can see the lace all over the place why other other um customers like wigs that are very full and closed up and that is just gonna be really heavy so yeah like i said uh, it all depends on what it is so this is how i just thin it out i'm um, just gonna look kind of like natural I'm not i'm not gonna look like it's it's bald or thinning out so yeah that's what i do so i just do it really really gently to avoid that overly clocked hairline so yeah so this is what it's looking at um just a little bit i try to do it um one at a time when i get to the front section i just don't go in to just start blocking blindly I, I don't know like i said this is just my method you can do anything that works for you i personally like to um just um i personally like to just you know pluck it one at a time that way i know what i'm doing you can see how it looks so now i am just going in to um put in my um braiding gel i do this because it's um easy for me it makes it really easy easy for me it makes it easier not completely easy okay it makes it easier for me to just braids because like i said if you braid a lot if you're a wig maker if you braid on on a on a human hair wig you're gonna understand the struggle and if that's if you're doing um, a jumbo size if you're doing a regular size braids it's not really bad you can manage that without even using any thing at all like braiding gel but if you're doing the jumbo size oh my god it's a struggle okay i don't know about any other person but for me it's a struggle so the braiding gel is just gonna make it way easier for me okay not completely easy like i said but much more easier than just you know going into braid so like i said so i'm just gonna put the um braiding gel and then go in and mold so you just mold it to the place where you want the braid to be and that's how it's gonna look so what i do i just mold and mold i like it to sit at the middle so once i mold that completely as you can see then it's gonna stay in place nice and neat then once i'm able to do that then i'm gonna use my elastic band to secure um the end the um what am i gonna call it the roots okay so that way it's tight now if you want to use an elastic band make sure you're getting the really strong ones they usually sell the ones at the beauty supply that is really strong you know it doesn't break easily but the thing is even though it does have the tendency to break maybe during the hot water process or as it goes but the bottom line is you have that foundation for gripping the braids and trust me it's not gonna stay go anywhere the the secret is when you're gripping you want to make sure you grip very tight and you want to hold the hair very well so that way when the elastic band pops you're still gonna have that nice grip that tight grip 
to your braided wig okay so once i do that i'm just gonna go in and section it into three parts and then i'm gonna start braiding so like i said this is where this is the parts your foundation is very important because this is what is gonna make or break the tightness of the wig so you want to grip and hold very firmly like really tight so that way like i said even if your elastic band pops later on um you know it's not gonna affect how tight the ends the roots or ends no the roots <laughs> of your braid is as you can see the braid is really really nice and tight from the root so it's just gonna stay in place so yes so once i'm done doing that um as you can see it's nice it's tight you just go ahead and braid and braid and braid and then in the later part of the video you're gonna see me um adding to um the braids um that way that's the length so you just want to add if you want to extend the length you just keep doing that because if you go in and not cut your braiding hair and you just use it like that you're gonna have one really heavy ass wig on your head so you want to like control the the um the weight of your wig by just adding little piss but uh you don't want to um make it too tiny at the same time you want to make it too fat so like i said that's just the way i braid okay every braider have this style um this is just my style of braiding so yes if you are interested in a braided wig like i said earlier please be sure to click on the info section to take you straight to our um website as well as the instagram page where you can where you can um shop where more um, I'm more um, active on Instagram so be sure to follow on Instagram as well thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions just feel free to leave on the um, comment section and I'll be sure to respond to you like I said this was a custom order right now we do not do custom orders anymore so all our wigs are now ready to ship and we, we braid them just ready to go okay you don't have to wait so long you just look at the specification and you just choose what you want okay so yes thank you all so much for watching until my next video and